Hi, this is Ted, our Active Directory Administrator. He used tell me about Active Directory. Active Directory is like a corporate white page. It can maintain enormous user information such as name, contact details, designation etc. But, updating the user details in Active Directory is a tedious task. Being an admin, he had been frequently receiving requests from his fellow staffs on updating their profile, as it demands the whole day. He was unable to attend other issues. He often shares his pain with me by saying, Instead of dropping the workload on admins, it's better to allow users to update their own information. So, he was searching for a solution. Then later on he found GG self-update, which lifts the workload from admins by limiting their task to an one-time configuration of assigning the fields to the end users, so that the end users can update their information by themselves. As GG self-update address his requirement, Ted decides to evaluate the tool now. So, I leave you with Ted. Thank you Amy. Okay, now I check the prerequisites. Now, I am going to evaluate GG self-update. First, I install GG self-update. Here, I customize the product branding. Finally, I press finish. Now, I can see these two web portals, one is admin portal, and the other is self-service portal. As per the information from the product's author page, I can understand that, the admin portal is the place for admins, to perform their task of designing the layout, and assigning the fields to the end users, whereas, self-service portal is for end users, to update their personal information, by themselves. I log into admin portal. The home page displays account status dashboard, reports, and self-update audit information. Before configuring self-update settings, I go to admin tab, using this option. I select a few attributes to be displayed in the user search result page. Then, I exclude an active directory object from reports and charts. Now, I explore self-update. Initially I am going to configure the default layout. By default there are four tabs. Also there is an indication for adding new tab. Provision for adding new group, moving the selected group down and up. Also changing the group name is also available. Here, I remove a field from this group, then, I drag and drop, a field from the toolbox to the selected group. Now, I configure this field as editable, and provide help info. Since telephone number is one of the essential contacting medium, I set as mandatory to be updated. Also, I set the maximum number of digits to 9. Apart from updating existing fields, I also add my custom field. Finally, I save my settings. To check the self-service portal, I log in as an end user from the selected scope, to update his information. To update the changes, I press save. This is a solution for my problem, but, being an admin, I feel crazy to explore the additional features available in, GG Self Update. To get the audit report on self update changes, I go to reports tab, and select self update. Coming back, now, 
I need to assign my custom fields to particular scope of users. So, I create a new layout. Then I customize the group and fields. Finally I select my custom OUS scope. To note the changes in self-service portal, I log in as the same user as before. Now, I can feel the change in layout and fields, which is because, the priority of assigning layout is from user, group, OU and domain. Now I need to know about rank. For that, I create two different layouts, with same group as their scope. So, I create my first layout. with this group as scope. Then I create another layout. With the same group as scope. Now, I need to activate my second layout. So, I move up, it's rank from, 4 to 3, to view the changes in self-service portal. I log in as the same user. This is because he is present in both groups. Hence by adjusting the rank, for layouts with identical scopes, I can assign my desired layout to end others. That's all with this session. And I feel happy in evaluating GG self update. Now, our admin's workload is reduced to a one time configuration. Indizers take the responsibility of updating their personal information. Thanks for watching. For queries, feel free to contact us at support at ggtechnologies.com.